if you're not looking at education differently, you need to because it's about to change in some pretty major ways. My teaching style is worlds different from where I started. Good morning. We are going to move into a quick section on uh, brain, brainstorming and teamwork. I started in teaching math, and kind of the model for math is here's the teacher, here's the students, they give them the information, they do their tests, and they grade stuff. Moving forward. All of their knowledge about math comes through that teacher. We're going to go ahead and come up with as many ideas as we can about things that we want to involve ourselves into with the community. I'm getting them to a point where they can start to be creative again they can start to share their ideas. You find that the students still learned what they needed to, but there's so much life in a classroom, and it's so much more fun. So I got my two capacitors in. Wait, was that for the pH level? I don't think it's ever too early to get kids involved in engineering thinking. Ground is the small level. Things like logical thinking and how to solve problems and how to identify an actual problem that they want to solve, or knowing that they need to fail in order to succeed. So you guys got eight points? and then the girls got some work. You have eight drops of each. You have to embrace your mistakes and take every insane idea there is and allow it to be part of your process because without realizing what's wrong with those ideas, you can't realize what's great about the other ideas. The pump needs to be all the way down. Though, so you pump that in there. Throughout the course of me learning to teach in this new way, I've had tons of failures, but kids came back to me years later and said, you know, that was still such a meaningful project for me. And I was like, what do you mean it didn't work? You know, and, and they came back and they said, but we learned so much. And, and they said, you know, you're the one who always told us that we learn by failing. So you had your logic right, but then the problem you had was really that you had resistors that were too big. So it was cutting your voltage down too much so that it wasn't actually triggering those LEDs. It's important to understand that that same design process relates to us. Fail often to succeed sooner. We have to be willing as teachers to fail and to take risks and to try things and to learn from our mistakes, um, more so than our students, because we have to model that to our kids. Small level. Everybody's a group that you might want to start a distinguishing project. The teachers teaching engineering classes cannot do this alone, not well. If it's that you don't necessarily feel capable, you'll find that there's access to the curriculum and the resources that Discovery makes available. The small pieces are that you need to bite off so that you can actually finish your project. Anybody can do anything if they put their mind to it and spend enough time doing it and learning through the failure that they experience.